Obviously, the company Driga here in Hall 6 will be are presenting many highlights here at the A plus A. We're going to focus on one highlight this time. Um, Mr. Barb, thank you so much for your time today. Okay, no you are, uh, you've developed a drug screening test. How exactly does it work? Yeah, it works on a saliva sample. So you take a, a specimen of the, the person's saliva, transfer that to a little uh, chemistry kit. There's a little bit of immunoassay chemistry takes place and that tells you whether there is uh, drugs in the person's saliva or not, which means if it's in their, drug, in their saliva, then the drug is present in their blood as well, the active parent ingredient of the drug. So which drugs are we talking about? Okay, it's the, the five main drugs of abuse, which are cannabis, cocaine, opiates, amphetamines and methamphetamines. Is everyone allowed to use these drug screening tests or um, do you have to, I don't know, tell your, the people who are working for you that you're using them or how does it work? It varies from country to country. Okay. Um, some places there has to be a doctor present, some places you have to get the permission of the, the union. In other countries, like the UK, they can just introduce that in the, in, the con in the contract. So it very much depends on the country within Europe that you're working in. I'm going to be very brave and try it now, so what do I have to do? Okay, so we have this... Uh, Pot 3000 here. Mm -hmm. That's just a silica gel. What we need you to do is put that in your mouth and move it around beneath your cheek and gum and beneath your tongue, anywhere where you've got a, uh, a little pool of saliva present. It may be. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's changed colour. It was red before, so now it's changed colour, so we've collected enough, so it's really quick. Well, so now. <laughs> now what we do is, within here is where we have the immunochemistry, so we um, push that down, we give it a shake. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really take long at all? No, no. We need to get the little ring to disappear. That's okay. And then all the way down, break it. And what we should see starting shortly is the liquid starts to move up the uh, strips and then they will give us either a line or no line depending upon whether the drug is present or not. So can it tell me exactly which drug I've been taking or does it? Or how does it work? Yeah, e each of the five drugs are shown on the actual test so it will tell you which of those five drugs you've taken at a given cut-off point. While we're waiting, maybe you can tell us why it's so important to be here at the A plus A. Okay, well the A plus A is, is the biggest safety show in Europe, for sure. And although most a lot of this is done with the police, increasingly industry across, safety critical industry, um, is looking to do drug testing. Um, so we, what we want to be here is to showcase this new test to the industry to show that there is like a quick and easy way to detect for the, the most common drugs of abuse that are used. Absolutely. Okay, Imar, now it's time to find out what everybody's been waiting for, because everybody expects to, uh, me to have taken some drugs, I'm sure, but I haven't, have I? No, <laughs> we've got lines forming on all the five drugs, which means it's a negative test. So if this was an industrial situation, you'd just be sent back to your work to continue. Very, very good. And it's, it can only be a faint, faint line, it doesn't have to always be a really dark red line. Well, any line at all is a, a, um, a negative test. Thank you so much for your time today and um, all the best for the future and have fun here in Dusseldorf. Thank you so much.